Efficient engineering. Efficient engineering, of course, starts by using the right tool. In ePlan, we have different solutions. Um, particular, the one that I'm going to look at here is how to build these panels. We've already looked at different phases we have to go through when we build a panel. Kitting, the mechanical insulation, the modification of enclosures, terminal strip assemblies, insulation of devices, labeling. And now comes the time to do the wire fabrication, step 7 and, of course, step 8. Sometimes together, sometimes not necessarily together. Let's start with the number one, the wire fabrication. How can we help there? Well, first of all, you know that the schematics were created here from scratch with ePlan Cogineer. Within ePlan schematics, we have what? We have devices, devices that are connected to wires, uh, through wires to another device connection point. So every wire has a certain color, a certain gauge, and the length is calculated. How? The length is calculated based on what we've done here on the ePlan side. So if we actually select one of these components, let me just look at the front view here, front view, and uh, let's say we pick here one of the devices, we can actually say here, uh, show me the different wires. When we do this routing here, every one of these wires picks up a certain length. So in ePlan already, out of the box, we can generate what we call connection list. These connection lists, we can prepare them for the wire fabrication. Here, for instance, these are the two steps I'm going to generate to show you how we can help in the fabrication phase. First, how can we help the electrician build his wire? Here is a connection list with the different wires. Uh, we show you in which kit it goes. Here I'm actually putting together the A1 to A1 kit, which is everything that's inside my panel A1. I have an orange wire, gauge 10, and a certain length. It even tells you from where to where it goes, actually, from what device to what device. And I'll have this prefabricated, if it's possible, of course, because I have the exact length. Now, if you do not have a wire fabrication machine, which is actually the top of the line, the Comax machine, the Comax will do this for you. We'll pre-cut all the wires and pre-label um, uh, them automatically for you. But this can, of course, be done by a human being here, and you will also save some time. Now comes the time to the, for the fabrication. If you do not have anything uh, else, this is actually probably the smartest way to go, to just generate a wireless that tells you from where to where you have to connect it, all the rest of the information there, what kind of crimping you have to put on there, what kind of endings you have, everything is here. An even smarter way to do it is the ePlan smart wiring. The idea here is to give this on a tablet to an electrician, and here we have, for instance, all our devices, the wireless, that is shown here in this table. You can pick one side, you can pick the other side, you can even look at how you have to wire it from one device to another. And when you are ready to go, you take your wire, you have the exact length here, you have all the details you need, and you can start wiring this up. And as you go about in the wiring, you can see here at the top, there's a status that changes from partially placed to fully installed. You can sort this by gauges, you can sort this by colors, you can sort this by targets, sources and targets, whichever way you prefer having the uh, devices done. If you can't figure out exactly where the devices are, here you have the full view. You can even go in the extended view, so you can actually look at this uh, a little bit nicer actually to find the device itself so you can zoom in zoom out you can rotate uh, all kinds of different things are possible here I'm just gonna go back and the ideal thing behind the scene is as you go along somebody else can monitor your work so you can see how many wires have been installed out of these 53 wires we have to install in this particular small panel here 12 have been installed even more interesting is with the smart wiring, we can actually update your project. So when we do the update project here, somebody could actually change the design, change the source, target, color, or gauge, and this smart wiring will actually tell your electrician what exactly he has to 
eliminate in terms of wiring. Of course, if the wiring hasn't been touched or installed, who cares? You know, just move on. And it actually is a very interesting way to keep track of what your electricians are doing. Uh, if I go, uh, let's say, and I close this, I can also have here, let me just log out, show you here the monitoring behind the scene. That's also a very interesting one that can be used by anyone out there. So I'm just going to pick this guy here, which is the 19235 connect. And you will see who's working on it. And you pick a specific project here and you can see how far this project is on in a live fashion. So you can see, you know, who's working on which project. It's very, very interesting to consider the smart wiring as one of your tools you're going to hand out to your electrician during the wire fabrication phase. We have seen or heard from customers that sometimes in this particular phase here, we are spending 30 to 40 percent of the whole uh, installation loop here of a panel is done on wiring. So imagine the time that you can save if you have pin pointed out where these devices are because when you work just from a list like this which is a very good way already compared to just having a yellow pen on a schematic you still have to find these devices individually on the panel so you still have to go back on a different uh, drawing like this one here and you have to figure out where is that specific device so you have to work with two different sheets there's a smart wiring is a combination of all of that all together.